Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Season 2 Episode 6 titled Target, April O'Neil. Um, this episode was a really good action-based episode. It had a lot of cool moments in it, but it also, you know, it finally gave us a conclusion to, you know, basically April being mad at the Turtles. And, you know, I'm excited for, you know, upcoming episodes because it's going to head back towards the original, you know, the first season where she's with the Turtles and, you know, everything's good and they're going to help her, you know, fix her dad and she's going to help them, you know, in any situation they need. But it was a great episode. We got to see pretty much every character fight. You know, we got the Turtles fighting. We got to see Casey fight, which was pretty cool. And I loved watching April fight because <clears throat> it shows how amazing she is compared to season one where she knew some moves and stuff like that from Master Splinter. But in this, you know, she was fighting the Foot Ninja and she was beating them really until they did like the whole spider thing. But, you know, she was dodging, you know, throwing the fan. Like when she even fought Karai, it wasn't like in season one. And I loved when she threw the fan and Karai, you know, dodged it. And she said, you know, like I've had training for this long or whatever. And then she got hit because the fan came back. And April was just like, you know, you talk too much. I love that scene. And it was just great to see April, you know, actually kick butt in this episode. And it was cool to see Casey do the same because that's what Casey always does in his sort of, you know, less ninja, you know, fighting style. It was great to see it. You know, we finally get him in action. And he was actually, you know, in an ice rink, which was cool because normally he just happens to have the hockey puck with him. Or the hockey stick, I mean. And a hockey puck, I guess. But it was great to see him, you know, go up against the ninjas as well. I guess the robotic, you know, praying ninjas. But, you know, in this episode, Karai, you know, she's threatened by Shredder again. And it was cool to see him. He's not, you know, back in New York, but he, you know, made an appearance. And he basically says, you know, your plan failed. You know, don't do anything until I get back. And, you know, she decides, you know, screw that. I'm going to do what I want. And, excuse me, the deal she has with the crane is to basically have this robot go and attack April and this robot looked just like Brad to me but when he was human because it has like the red gi and all that stuff it's not really a gi but you know it, it was red and it looked just like him but it was obviously a robot and it had you know jets on the bottom it had like a laser whip and a laser katana and I'm sure some other laser based stuff but you know the turtles went up against it you know they had their struggles um all the robot foot ninjas were just destroyed because although the crane made them and the robot the crane decided that they still need april to you know finish whatever plan it is that they have and if it's not to bring the you know the pterodome back or technodrome not pterodome the technodrome back then you know they have a new plan in place which you know who knows what it may or may not be but you know they said you know it's no big deal if karai wants april dead and as soon as the robot is in front of april you know, the directive basically switches from kill to capture, and, you know, it tries to fly off, and then when Karai stops it, it attacks Karai, so it was a cool episode, because it'll kind of separate the Krang from Shredder, and while it kind of sucks that that's going to happen, I'm sure they're going to have some amazing story behind that, where Karai will mention to Shredder how the Krang kind of betrayed her and tried to kill her with his robot, and then, you know, Krang will actually you know shredder will actually fight the krang and it won't be like in season one where everyone was after the turtles it really will be sort of a triangle where everyone's going after everybody so it'll be cool to see that but hopefully there'll still be more of the you know krang foot ninjas because you know that just makes the action really cool when they can actually like slice up the robots and stuff but i thought this was a really great episode it didn't have a ton to you know advance the story but it had you know it had just enough actually because it got April back in. It kind of showed us, hey, April's going to be back in the show a lot more. She's going to be with the Turtles, so it's going to be great. And, you know, aside from that, it also gave us, you know, Krang and Karai and, you know, obviously Shredder too, possibly splitting up and, you know, having just an all-out war where everyone's against everyone. And also we just got to see a lot of cool action scenes, um, particularly April and Casey showcasing, you know, their skills and stuff. So I'm excited for the rest of the season for sure, you know, especially the action-based episodes where it'll be, you know, April fighting, you know, more than anyone. Like, I'd like to see Casey fight more, too, but, you know, I like the martial arts fighting better, and it's cool to see April actually advance because the Turtles started off there, obviously, from season one, they're just great ninjas, but April's, you know, a Kanoichi in training, pretty much, so it's cool to see her advance, and so I'll be excited to see, 
just how good she really gets and maybe she'll even get a new weapon this season that would be cool too or you know get two fans like you know mortal kombat or something but love this episode so far comment below let me know what you guys thought favorite part least favorite part um you know that once again they had like the fake anime in it to kind of relate to donnie's life which was funny but you know in the end just like in the anime everything worked out and you know april joined the team so it was really good but you know love the little anime that they have because it's just really funny and over the top like classic anime style but love this episode it had its funny moments so i love the ending to it it was really funny when april kissed Diane on the cheek but great episode excited for next week's episode so comment below let me know what you guys think and um after seeing casey fight do you guys think you you know do you guys think he's even an even better character now since we've gotten to see him actually showcase his fighting skills or do you guys still want to see more out of him comment below let me know and thanks for watching